So we have a little bit more information that has come out on the Alec Baldwin situation, which I have to say, it's a terrible tragedy and it's horrible what happened on the set. And I think that, you know, somebody is going to be in a lot of trouble once more details of this come out. Now, Alec Baldwin did come out and issue a statement. I'm going to go ahead and read what he said and then get into some of the new details. Uh, But here's what he put out on Twitter. There are no words to convey my shock and sadness regarding the tragic incident that took the life of Helena Hutchins, a wife, mother, and a deeply admired colleague of ours. I'm fully cooperating with the police investigation to address how this tragedy, how this tragedy occurred. And two, I am in touch with her husband, offering my support to him and his family. My heart is broken for her husband, their son, and all who knew and loved Helena. I have no doubt that He's probably very upset. And, you know, like I said in the last video, uh, I don't care for Alec Baldwin, but I have no doubt in my mind that he's probably very, very upset and regretful of the situation. And I'm not sure how much of this was his fault. But it turns out he's a producer on this film. There's a lot to go over that's come out over the past 24 hours. I'm going to go over here. Uh. I will say he's been facing some backlash over that tweet that I featured in the last video. By the way, a lot of people on Twitter, mostly from the kind and loving side, talking about manslaughter and prison for him. Uh, Who could be asking for that? I know it's not the people he likes to talk shit about because most people like me say he shouldn't go to jail. Uh, This was an accident. In fact, the person who I'd really like to talk to is the prop master. You know, what's going on? You know, it turns out this movie was nothing but a mess. And, you know, who is responsible, as NBC News asks here? Well, I think a lot of people are responsible. This is coming from the Daily Mail. A lot of new details. Uh, it turns out safety wasn't a really big priority. On the set of Rust. And well, obviously that shows. I still have a lot of questions. And I talked about this in my last video on this subject. Okay. Why are you waving a firearm around like it's a toy? Right. First off, you shouldn't be even using. Why is live ammunition? Why is live ammunition being used in a prop? Okay. And even though it's a prop gun, you need to understand like. They're still basically real. They're basically real firearms. Okay. Uh, Even a blank round can do some damage if it's, if it's discharged too close to a person, you know, why was Alec Baldwin using this during a rehearsal? Is it necessary to use that and discharge it during a rehearsal? And all reports say it was a rehearsal. They weren't even like dressed up in gear for the actual movie. So, you know, there's a lot of questions here. Alec Baldwin himself, a producer on this movie. And I don't think it was a fake title like a lot of producers get. He was heavily involved in this. A lot of details that they treated the crew like shit and replaced them with people that didn't know what the hell they were doing and that ended up costing somebody's life. So let me go through this little bit here. A crew member in charge of prop gun that killed cinematographer was a replacement brought in after workers walked off set of rust following robot condition and two misfires days before tragedy. Alec Baldwin was told it was safe to use. So you already had two misfires. That's, that's, really kind of concerned. You think that you would have been raising red flags and asking questions at that point. Production crew on the set of Rust walked out on Thursday morning in a row over hotel rooms and long hours. Uh, They wanted to be put up in Santa Fe near the ranch where the movie was being shot, but instead were staying in Albuquerque in an hour away. They were too tired to drive every night after long shifts. This is a good example of Hollywood just being cheap, right? It's not very far removed from what we discussed with Batwoman. Okay. Now, like with that situation, I don't necessarily believe everything Ruby Rose is saying. 
But I do believe her on her statement about how she had busted up her spine and they wanted her to come back 10 days later to work. Okay, working conditions, probably not the best in Hollywood. And you're seeing examples of that right here. At one, oh, uh, Helena Hutchins decided to stay on the set and film with Alec Baldwin after the film direct and with the film director, Joel Suez. On Thursday, when they arrived to pack up, they found a local team of workers waiting to replace them. So I read that a little bit out of order. I'm sorry. But basically, uh, the people that were driving an hour to and from work, uh, when they showed up after complaining about work condi- conditions, uh, they found a bunch of local workers waiting to replace them. So people who didn't know what the hell they were doing, basically. And then this all led to at 1.50 p.m., Baldwin fired that that prop, which he thought contained blank rounds. And, you know, I think somebody put a live round in there. You had a bunch of local people, let's face it, who had no idea what the hell they were doing, and they probably put something in there that they shouldn't have. Now, this is all speculation, right? Because we're just still going through these things. And then, of course, the project the projectile fired through Hutchins' chest and also struck the director behind her, who survived. And, of course, you know, it goes on to some other stuff. Uh, union rules, by the way, stipulate that no live rounds are ever to be used on set. The replacement crew are not believed to be union workers. And that's what I'm saying here. Now, you know, say what you want about unions or not. The fact is people there weren't trained, didn't know what they were doing, and somebody paid with their life. How much Alec Baldwin is to blame here? I don't know. I'm not in a rush to judge the man because I don't know exactly how much power he had over the set, but he is listed as a producer. He is listed as a producer. He's a producer on this movie. So, you know, I think a lot of people are going to be held at fault here through something because they weren't doing their job. Uh, Who decided to pick up a bunch of people that didn't know what the hell they were doing and replace the seasoned crew who were already complaining about bad work conditions? They were already complaining about bad work conditions, got rid of them, got people that didn't know what the hell they were doing for cheaper prices. And, you know, someone pays the price. So. No doubt, I'm sure the family of that woman going to get a big settlement. I'm sure they they should sue, right? I think they should, and they'll get a big settlement. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, who's responsible for this? Why was the prop gun being fooled around with during a rehearsal? Why the hell were there already two misfires the day before? There's a lot to ask here, and there's a lot of questions. And we're just finally finding out some of this stuff. So, you know, this is, this will be an interesting thing to follow. Uh, Alec Baldwin, I do feel bad for him as much as he is a gigantic piece of shit. Uh, so, you know, this will be something to follow. Like I said, anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, if you would please like subscribe, share the video, make sure you're still subscribed, hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. Usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out.